Hi, I'm Vivia Gagnani at Shrine Asian Kitchen and Lounge at MGM Grand at Foxwoods in Connecticut. Today I'm going to drink a signature sipper that's going to give the classic mojito a run for its money. So let's go behind the burner and meet the expert. So I'm here with beverage manager Joe O'Connor. Joe, show me how to make a mojito totally right. Sure. Um, we're actually going to do a little bit of a change up on your traditional mojito. Use a different, incorporate a little bit more flavors, you know, traditional drink that we're kind of doing shrine to take on. Um, so, got the mint, got limes. Here we're going to add a little bit of lemon, and then we're going to change up a little bit with the rum and vodka that we're going to put in there. So, first thing we'll do is grab the modified shaker at the bottom. You got your mint here. Mm -hmm. We'll both put our mint in there. Okay, so we're going to put some mint. How many leaves? This is usually about 8 to 12. These are a little bit smaller, the leaves, so we're going to do it. There is a little bit more than 12. All of them. One, two, three, four. If you have the bigger leaves, definitely 8 to 12, I think it's a sufficient number. You just kind of adjust based on the size of the leaves. So definitely I'm putting 12 because I love mint. Okay. Perfect. Mine's got 12. Big tip with the um, the mint is you want to leave off the stems. We don't want any of that bitterness involved in the drink. And really just the leaves is all we want. So getting them washed and nice bright green leaves is definitely exactly. you what get we want to get in that shaker. Um, then you got two lemons and two limes over here for you. Perfect. I'll throw okay. that in there as well. Lemon and my lime. Yep. Perfect. And then the last ingredient we're going to throw in the shaker with the lemons and limes and the mint is a simple syrup, which is half water and half sugar that we cook together. Okay. So now we have all this sitting in the bottom of the shaker. From here we'll grab our uh, muddler. So big thing is I really prefer muddling without the ice in there and then it's a little bit less work and at the same time we really just need to press the leaves more than anything else. No point in breaking them up, just pressing it and kind of turning it gets the the flavor out of the leaves and kind of mushes all the sugar, lime juice, lemon juice out together. So you got my muddling, kind of just pushing and twisting, getting I'm all those juices out, releasing the mint. You want to get all that flavor from the mint. Exactly, the release oils. the mint. So from here, we're going to fill up the shaker with ice. Up to the top. And then it's booze time? The booze time from there. <laughs> so again, we kept, we kept the rum as an element, but then Absolute Boston is kind of a limited edition, which is cool, so we wanted to play with that a little bit when it came in. It's got a black tea and um, elderflower flavor. So again, you think tea. It goes well, really well. Exactly, with the mint, plum, lemon, and the tea, flavors. kind of everything works well together. We'll just flip those back over. Three Ooh. count, same time. Okay, so let's we're doing see if three I can quarters and an ounce on both. Three One, count. two, three. There you and go. And I'm done. And so this is a good time to put a little more yeah, ice in. Yeah, put a little bit more ice in. Again, we want to fill it up all the way to the top. Okay, I'm up to the top. Nice. I got to catch up too. So we'll fill it all the way up to the top again. From here, we'll grab the shaker. Mm -hmm. You want to pour that all in? Exactly. Pour it in. Yes, Kinda sir. Kind lock our shaker in. So we got a good shake going from here. Okay. The other two-handed. I'm a little bit more of a one-handed person. If you pop it open, you can kind of see everything. I'm still ice going. is broken. Yes. So we'll grab our glass. We're going to pour it all in there? Absolutely. Just dump it right in there. We really don't want to lose any of the flavor that, that we muddled together and exactly. got everything in. Ooh, look at me getting up to the top. Nice. So again, all iced up to the top. From here, we can put a little bit of soda in there. Kind of give it a nice fizz. It's fresh soda water. It's kind of really. I'm getting a straw for myself because I like to drink it with a straw. One for you? I will too. They have really like good consistent flavor throughout, which is nice. It doesn't look too watered down. You see all that mint going through. I'm okay. ready to drink. Really good classic drink. So you got a little bit of the lemon. Again, taste the rum, mint, a little bit of the flour. You know, I taste mint. a little bit of the black tea. Absolutely, yeah. This, this absolute actually Boston is... Boston stuff is great. Absolutely. It's real strong as far as the tea flavor goes. And then putting with the mint, like I said, lemon, everything kind of really blends together well. Great cocktail. So. Cheers. Thanks for having us. My pleasure. Stay tuned to Behind the Burner, where we give you the tips, tricks, and techniques that are lighting the culinary world on fire. For the recipe, Q&A, photos, and more, visit BehindTheBurner.com. <laughs>